What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Joseph 4K bringing you guys another Forza Horizon 5 drift build and tune video. Now today I got a beast of a specimen of a car guys. It's the 2020 Lamborghini Hurricane uh, STO. Listen, this car is fire bro. But we're gonna get into the build. We're gonna get into the tune of this car. And then we're gonna take that to the mountain to see if we can three star the zone and put up a million points. All right, so diving into the build of this car. I didn't motor swap it at all. Like I didn't really want to use any of these V12s, so I left the stock. And then I, I realized that this car comes stock rear wheel drive, which is super, super dope. So we have a rear wheel drive and then it allows me to put a supercharger on it. And you guys know I'm a huge fan of the supercharger. So we went with the supercharger. For the clutch, we have the race clutch. For the transmission, we have the six speed transmission. For the drive line, we have the race drive line. And then for the differential, we have the drift differential. Under platform and handling, for the brakes, we have the race brakes. We have the drift springs and dampers. We have the front race and the rear race anti roll bars. For the roll cage, we have a race roll cage. And then for the weight reduction, we have a race weight reduction. And for aero and appearance, I didn't change anything because you can only change the front bumper, so I left it stock. For the tires and rims, the car comes stock with semi slicks on it. I mean, with the, uh, it comes with the, uh, what's that called? Semi slicks, yeah. So I just went with the Horizon semi slicks for the white letters. For the front tire width, it comes stock with a 245, but we went with a 265 out front. And then for the rear tire width, I was expecting this Lamborghini to have a big tire out back. And it actually had a 305, which is surprising because most Lamborghinis have like a 325 or 335. So you guys know I went with the 315 instead. My favorite tire size to run other than 265. For the front track width, we have it maxed out as wide as it can go. For the rear track width, we have it, uh, we left the stock. There's no need to bring it out anymore. Stock looks good. For the rim size, I didn't touch it. You can only change the rear rim size. So we left the stock at 20. And then for the rim choice, I believe they're multi-piece. And they're the add, uh, ADV1, ADV7.2, CF.2. And then for the engine components, I believe I maxed out everything. So we have a race intake. We have a race fuel system. We have the race ignition, race valves, race camshaft. We have the race exhaust. We have the race engine block, and then we have the race intercooler. You guys see that supercharger? Oh my goodness. Now diving over into the tuning the car, for the tire pressure, we have 26 PSI in the front with 23 in the rear. For the gear ratio, we have a 430 final drive. We have a 300 first gear, a 200 second, a 150 third, a 125 fourth, a 109 fifth, and then a 096 six gear. For the alignment, we're running negative five degrees camber in the front with negative 0.3 degrees camber in the rear. For the toe, we have 0.2 degrees toe out and negative 0.3 degrees toe in. For the front caster angle, we left the stock at seven degrees caster angle. For the roll bars, we have 48.50 in the front with 28.30 stiffness in the rear. For the dampening, I mean for the springs of the car, sorry. We have a 560 uh, pound spring in the front with the 896 pound spring in the rear. And then for the ride height, I did pick it up a little bit because this, bar, this car bottom out a lot. So we have 4.1 in the front and then 4.5 in the rear. For the dampening of the car, we have the front at 9.1 rebound stiffness in the rear at 11.8 rebound stiffness. And then for the bump stiffness, we have 3.0 in the front and then 3.8 in the rear. For the arrow, we don't have anything adjustable in the front, but the rear does come stock at 400 and like 25 or 26. So I just took it down to an even 400. For the brake balance, we have 80% brake balance. And then for the brake pressure, we have 55% brake pressure. And lastly, for the differential, we have 100% acceleration with 100% deceleration, giving this car a locked diff. That was the build. This is the tune. Let's take this Lamborghini out to the mountain, guys, and see if we can put up a million points. All right, guys, so we made it to the top of the mountain. Let's get some heat into these tires and let's send it downhill.
Like, is it me or does the supercharger sound louder in this car? Listen to it. God, that's my favorite sound. Supercharger sounds crazy in this car. But I drove this car. So I drove this car, I mean stock, like completely stock. I built it and then drove it. So I guess technically it wouldn't be stock. But I drove it just, I drove it built. So I built the car and then I drove it. And I have not failed to put down a million points yet. Like I haven't failed yet. Like this, this car drives, drives pretty, pretty wild, pretty crazy. And it doesn't have an issue with power. It doesn't have an issue with angle. It doesn't have an issue like with none of that. Like it's this this car. I don't I don't know. Like I, I don't know how much I could like like. I don't want to overhype it because it probably it probably would be better as a race car. But I'm telling you right now, as a as a drift car, nah. This car is this car is type nice, extremely nice. And I'm not trying to gas it up and overhype it, you know, because it's a new car added to the game. But it's de definitely nice. Probably probably one of the. One of the, if not the best Lamborghini I've driven in, in this game to drift. I mean, the wild body Hurricane is really nice, you know what I mean? But, but I mean, right out the box, like driving this stock for stock, or you know, however you want to say it, like this, this car hands down is top, top of the board for me. Definitely, definitely top of the board. I mean, it makes power. It has really good tire selection, really good tire choice. I don't know what I was doing there has really has really good tire choice doesn't doesn't choke i mean it does really good with angle i actually had to take some take some dampening out of it because it was snapping a little hard to angle so it was snapping a little too hard for me so i took some dampening out to slow the transitions up just a little bit but i mean this 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 car is it like this i mean it's 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 pretty gross phenomenal I mean, you gotta see how flawlessly this is driving. That was one million sixty-four thousand. Like I, yeah, I almost beat my best right there. My best was one million sixty-seven thousand. Like I almost beat my best. That goes to show you, like the, like if I really pushed this car as hard, you know, and I wasn't recording, because it's kind of hard for me to talk and record at the same time and do this. But this, this car is gross. Absolutely, it looks good, and I didn't really want to change the paint job because I mean it's STO and it stands out, so I wanted to leave it that way. But this car is nice, guys. Like, listen, today is today's Friday, so I mean you got plenty of time to grab this car. You only need 20 points to go grab it. Look, I don't I listen. I every Thursday I do all the little hoopla to get these points, man. You guys have to get this car. Add it to your collection. It's a good car. It won't be let down. But that's gonna be it for me, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like comment on the channel if you got any other suggestions now i do know i have a couple builds and i have a couple challenges to do and i'm trying to get to them but some some of those challenges are a little extensive some of them are a little extensive some of them are okay like i promise you I'm, I'm going to get to them i'm just trying to figure out a format to where i could do it to get it out for you guys i promise you i got you but guys i do love you hope you have a great weekend and i'll catch you guys in the next video